hi guys welcome back to my channel oh my god it's been that long i have not been like here to see you guys honestly i miss you guys dearly honestly i miss you guys so much but i'm here with some usual random videos that i thought it's about time i catch up with you guys i've been away kind of like in and out doing some vlog here and there she you guys can see some of you noted that i went to ghana a couple of weeks i was in ghana for and i had some amazing time i did some vlog here and there and i think you guys seen some of the places that i've been to markets and you know a little bit of what i got up to over there so i'm back home i'm officially back home in the uk yeah i am and i um, really wanted to just basically come here and say hi to you guys and tell you guys how much i miss you guys and um, today i'm here to just basically demonstrate some products new products i recently got um from boots um it's, just, it's a um like a drugstore kind of um shop that you know company that sells like makeups and perfumes and everything you know regarding cosmetics they have it so i was recently up and about and i saw um boots have this kind of like tuesday offer so they have this offer that every tuesdays they basically discount some of their products to like 10 pound nothing more than that just a standard 10 pound so i came about this product called um be obsessed and it's by makeup obsession so i got this for this is for 10 pound so i'm gonna open it today i'm gonna basically it's a makeup um set which contain brushes eyeshadows and um you know everything basically so we're gonna open i'm gonna dive into this and i'm gonna tell you guys how amazing this is for 10 pound i think you can't go wrong for they say be obsessed so we're gonna open this and see what um it contained um oh my god it contained a lot check it check it out so you've got like almost like five pieces of makeup brushes high quality brushes and you've got uh something for highlights you've got the highlight palette here you've got um blusher palette down here as well and you've got eyeshadow palette and you've got mostly there's full set of eyeshadow palette you know these are for eyeshadow palette and you've got um highlights palette down here and a blush up palette and then the rest are just um, brushes okay so i'm gonna open this individually and show you guys what it contains um i'm really obsessed with this actually so this blusher it says blessed so it says blessed on it and it's got these pretty colors really cute so we're gonna try this today actually guys i'm gonna make up and i'm gonna use them to show you guys what it contained and then you got the highlighters so these are I say all that glows see those you see me just open it really well for you guys i'll bring it closer to the camera it's that highlighters they're beautiful and it's got a little mirror here as well and they're cute um palette highlights palette here um and then you've got these um brushes oh my gosh the brushes are so soft um, I'm, I'm obsessed with makeup brushes so when i saw this for 10 pounds and it says it's got makeup brushes i'm like i've got to have this i really got to have it so you got like a, a powder brush oh my god if it's so soft on the skin and you've got maybe that's a blush brush and you've got the eyeshadow brushes here um another one they're really really fluffy guys they're really 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 fluffy really quality really good quality for the price for 10 pounds you cannot go wrong with this this would be a nice little gift set to actually give somebody for christmas but i'm not sure whether they're still doing this 10 pound for this uh, palette because it was just random i think they had it on for like a couple of days they had it on like every week um tuesday they had this offer going on so i managed to grab two uh, do you boo does it make sense that's that one and this is the eyeshadow palette but like a purple-ish colors as you, as you guys can see here it's got like beautiful purple-ish color there and a pink me please you know pink me how cute is that and there's another eyeshadow palette but it's all mainly for like bright pinky colors there um they're really nice another eyeshadow palette and it's a fresh feels so this is a fresh feels more like a vibrant brighter um greenish kind of lemonish colors yeah 
last you've got dream girl and it's another eyeshadow palette they are more for like a, a dark ish uh, color so i think i may i may use this actually because it's gonna correspond with my top that i'm wearing so yeah this i'll probably select this the makeup i'm just gonna go for today just gonna be like a dumb glow or neutral colors so this will probably be the one i'm gonna select and use i'll show you guys again I think it's pretty so yeah. yeah guys this all for 10 pounds from boots you cannot go wrong with this package honestly you cannot go wrong with this um, gift set I think it definitely worth the 10 pound it worth the money and um, so if it does come up again I'll leave the link to boots and um, keep your eye on this offer it may come back again I'm not sure but keep your eye on because you know Christmas is coming there will be a lot of office going so on so today i'm going to do a quick makeup and to demonstrate uh, these products that i have here i'm going to do a quick makeup i'm just going to prep my skin as usual because makeup is all about the prep of the skin so i'm going to cleanse my face this silica like cleansing water and it's all in one it's for combination and oily skin that's what i'm going to use to cleanse my face and get rid of any impurity and any oil residue that i may have and so on so because i really like the fresh uh, makeup you know so yeah so i just put sprinkle a little bit in there um like that show you to you guys again i just bring a little bit in there and i'm just gonna use it oh it feels so cool i'm gonna use it to clean my face and then um we'll put the the primer and then you know things like that on and then we get going guys so how are you all doing guys it's been ages it's been ages since i sat here to do any form of makeup tutorial um it's been ages it's been i think it's been like a couple of months away um like um eight months away i think i think i haven't actually done anything in regards to you know makeup and skincare and stuff like that. i think i've mainly done like a vlog vlogs yeah i actually love vlogging you know i think that's one of the things i'm really enjoying doing actually vlogging vlogging is quite interesting when you take your camera out and you go to places and you shoot and stuff like that it, i love watching people vlog and since i've been doing my own vlog i've seen a huge growth on my account so yeah i'm really really pleased guys i'm really really pleased i think i'm gonna be doing more vlog but i'm gonna take the opportunity to travel more and go to places and then fume and stuff like that okay so once i've cleaned my face go and be my spf oh my god you guys know this spf you guys know if you don't know this spf you don't know the quality of this spf guys you guys need to check this sps spf out okay and it's like cheapo say that this spf is the high i will highly recommend it is number one honestly highly 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 recommended when i was in the sun when i was in ghana this is the spf that I was using honestly tell you the truth this is the spf that I was using okay and it's amazing it protects my skin literally protects my skin it doesn't sting the eye you know it does not greasy when you apply it immediately and penetrate deep into your skin and leave your skin soft glowy honestly i will highly recommend this spf to you guys and i wear the highest 50 because i want the higher protection okay so i'm gonna square it a little bit onto my hand like that and i'm gonna just put it into my skin but yeah guys this spf is everything it's life honestly it's giving it does what it needs to do it's a game changer so you guys need to get the hands they have for the body so when i was in ghana um i bought the one for the body i was using for the body as well as well as my face and it did it and i had a beautiful complexion when i came back i didn't have no issue with burnt and you know like in africa the sun is really really hot especially ghana the sun gets really 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 hot and having this spf as my bestie you were just so everything was everything to me so i highly recommend you guys get your hands on this spf take a note of it if you want me to bring it closer to you guys take a note of it you can get this from boots boot the super hmm. i know sometimes when you're fuming i get so thirsty okay guys so now i've put my spf on i cannot live without my spf guys i cannot live without my spf so once i've put it on now my next step is i'm gonna put my primer and this primer that i'm gonna put it on is a one of the fainting beauty range primer and it's a pro filter primer okay and this is what it looks like and this is specifically for oily skin okay so bring it closer to you guys 
if you guys can see what it is so i'm going to shake it because i've not used it for a while i haven't actually put on when i was in ghana and i didn't actually put makeup on honestly i didn't put makeup on i was more or less just like you know I, I go my day without makeup but i love it i love we're going out with like no makeup i just love it because the sun is too hot and can you imagine having to put makeup on all the time oh i didn't like it i didn't like it anyway i'll just basically take this amount of the primer because i'll put like the spf i didn't want to put too much on just just to protect my skin as well and make this the makeup really like you know um more glowy so like i was saying this makeup that i'm doing today is gonna be like a very um natural glam look because i've not actually made up for it a long time i've not made like my face for a long time i've not had like the me time when i'm gonna have to put makeup on and get dressed and you know doing nothing do my nails you know I've not had it, I've not had that time in a while so I thought today why not um you know get my makeup done and you know feel a bit alive basically <laughs> feel a bit alive you know <laughs> if I, you, you guys know what I'm talking about yeah you know what I'm talking about okay so I've now put the primer on and once I've put my primer on I'm actually gonna go ahead and now um I'm gonna put a bit of um a bit of a powder which is the the fainting pro filter uh honey this is honey honey color uh let's see if you guys can capture um so it's a pro filter honey instant recharge setting powder so bring it closer to you guys so it's something like that so i am going to take the the brush I'm gonna take this brush. Um, actually, no, I'm not gonna use that brush. I'll use the big one so I can distribute it all over. Okay. So this brush is from the um, the gift set from the makeup obsession gift set that I bought from Boots. Okay. So I'm going to. Oh, guys, look look what happened to the other day when I was trying to open this. It literally went everywhere, and I don't want to waste this um, setting powder because it's too expensive. You know. Rihanna stuff is not cheap and you don't want to waste expensive products you get me okay so I'm gonna dust a little bit on I'm gonna dust a little bit on my face before I put the foundation I'm gonna put a little bit of powder that's a bit of a trick that I learned from TikTok the other day when uh, there's this lady that was doing the makeup and she had it she put she put her SPF and she put um, a primer and after the primer she put um, a bit of setting powder and um, some people also do put um, a loose powder well setting powder loose powder is more or less the same or translucent, translucent powder that's what I was trying to say translucent, pow translucent powder she put that on before she put um, her foundation oh my god and her makeup was proper aced it was so beautiful so much looking like glowy and she was looking so 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 beautiful so yeah i learned that trick i learned that trick on that hack on the uh, tiktok the other day like i was saying so yeah so i i don't have translucent i have translucent powder somewhere but i don't know where it is exactly you know i need to really search through my stuff and see what i have and what i don't have because i feel like i'm buying, i'm buying products things that i'm repetitively buying things that i don't need or i've already got it do you get me so anyway so just a little bit of this um just to set the makeup on so when i put the you know the foundation it kind of like matte you know kind of more glowy and stuff like that so yeah so that is on so the next one i'm going to use actually guys let me just say something about this brush okay for a makeup set that have a brush like this for 10 pound guys i don't know what else to say that like this this brush is so so quality it feels so soft on the skin you know like it's not like some brushes that when you're using they kind of like really poke onto your skin these are so soft i literally i could be sitting here all night using this to kind of like <laughs> brush onto my face you know it feels so soft it actually does feel soft anyway so now i'm done i'm gonna take my foundation 
I guess you guys know what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna use the Fencing Pro filter and this is 345. This is color 345. I'm gonna use this to, you know, mattify my face, okay? So this is it. I, re I recently had the other color. I can't remember what color it was, but that was a bit dark. So I went and got this now, which is the Soft Matte Longwear Foundation and it's a Pro Filter 345. Okay, so I'm gonna use this and um, yeah, I'm gonna take my foundation brush. Where's my foundation brush? That's a good question. Okay, so I'm gonna use Real Techniques RT2000. No, pardon me, not 2000, 200. So I'm gonna use that. I'm just brushed it in. I've, my make, I'm always trying to keep my makeup brushes clean because boy, if you don't, you end up gonna have spots in the face and I'm not here for any of that. So I'll take the the makeup bra uh, the foundation shake a little bit because i've not used it for a while like i said it's been a couple of weeks that i've not actually put makeup on you know so i just want to like keep my skin to be natural because sometimes you just have to let your skin breathe it's not every time you have to put makeup on sometimes you just have to let your skin naturally breathe you know huh it's good it's good for the skin okay so we're gonna squirt some on that some onto that brush and i'll take the little residue on there just brush it onto my face like that and we'll just go and pat that on gently it feels so 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 cool so you just pat that on you can just pat it on like this and it will do its work The recent trick I learned about foundation when you put foundation on is to don't drag it is to just gently use the brush to distribute it onto the face and avoid like you know dragging it yeah I think I need a little bit more so I'm just gonna use this use my finger and then sorry I've got a little mirror down here that's the reason why I'm looking on that side and just basically just use the brush to tap it tap it tap it tap it away but don't drag it like this because when you drag it you're basically um, dragging the products and it doesn't distribute well onto the face and this is what somebody a makeup artist told me actually you know um, that it's best if you tap it on your face and it kind of like work better yeah as you guys can see there's some elements of um, differences onto the skin I think this 345 definitely work with my complexion because the one I had on before it, it, it basically got darker and one thing about fainting foundation it oxidizes quickly that's one thing that's one of the downfalls of fainting foundation like um you know it oxidizes so 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 quickly so you may get a color that you think this color is going to work for my skin but it's going to oxidize and going to make you look darker so it's advisable to me per se i think it's better to get a to get one color lighter than your complexion you get me and what i also knew that they said when you're buying um foundation is basically wear the foundation for a couple of go and test it out go to the shop yeah go and test it out right put it on yeah in the daytime walk about do your shopping and stuff like that and then come back so you give yourself at least an hour if the foundation is oxidized you know that that color is too dark for you then you will go on to the next one okay that's what i did when i was buying this okay so i went to the market street in manchester boot and i basically applied this and i i went about doing my shopping and stuff like that 
and um, I was in between this color and I think another number I can't remember what it was so I put it on and I, I went about doing my thing and stuff like that and then when I came back I knew I I put one side I think it was three or is this three four five and I think the other one was three is that 350 or something I can't remember what color it was but I put one side different color and I put three four five on this side you know on my left side and I went about doing my shopping so when I came back I was able to see whether this color was too one color was too dark for me and to be honest with you the other color that I had on the the right the left hand side was definitely too bright so I went for the right one which was this one this color three four five do you know so yeah it's, it's better if you want to buy a foundation that you want to make sure it's your color is to try it during the day you know try it for a couple of hours and walk about and then see the one that really blend onto your skin because if it does um, oxidize you'll probably take a while for it to oxidize do you know what I'm trying to say because you're out there in the in the in the atmosphere the air is blowing and all that so you will know when it does ox oxidize it to fit onto your actual complexion rather than just buying it immediately and testing it behind your back, hand, back of your hand and all that that doesn't actually give you the main concept of the color if you know what i mean so yeah that's this is what um, a makeup and art makeup artist told me that it's better to um buy the makeup put it sorry put the foundation on for a couple of hours walk around you know do your shopping do whatever you went where you're doing or just put it on you know try it out and then and leave it for at least a day or two and then come back and then decide that you know find out which color was more better for you and so on and so forth so so like i said fainting uh, foundation do oxidize oxidize so you have to be very careful when you're buying it you need to be careful because you don't want to buy a color that is too bright for you or something that is too dark for you you know so because you're oxidized i would probably advise that you buy one color that is lighter than you so that when it does oxidize it blends in perfectly to, perfectly to your skin okay guys so i have blended this in perfectly to the best of my knowledge um we're now going to put um concealer okay so i'm going to use two two concealer actually so the concealers i'm going to use i'm going to use a pro filter by fainting and this is 370 okay so this is what it looks like so i'm going to use that and then i'm going to use the if uh, flawless concealer i bought this recently from boots i've not actually used it since i bought it so i'm gonna use this as well so i'm gonna use these two so i'll use the dark affairs and then i'm gonna use the lighter to blend it in um i need another brush actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take one of the brushes the fluffy one i think this is a bit bigger i can use this as a concealer brush and just to blend the concealer in i think that's a good idea isn't it don't you think that you guys think that way it's a good idea so i'm gonna put a bit of the the healer this side and then that side as well and some here and then I'm gonna blend I'm gonna use this to blend it in and I'm gonna try and not get this to crease because I so what I'm gonna do in order to avoid it from getting creasing <laughs> I'm gonna open my eyes like really wide And really really work it in. sorry guys I hope you guys are seeing what I'm doing properly I think it's looking good guys isn't it so as you guys can see I've put the concealer on that's the fainting pro filter so you know my eyes are looking more a bit more brighter now so I'm now gonna go in with the second concealer okay so the second concealer is the if flawless concealer and this color what color is this one actually this is medium sand and i am going to put that on but when i put this on i'm going to leave it a little bit to you know to do its work and then i'm going to come back to blend it you know so that it kind of like more penetrates onto the skin okay so i'm just going to put a little bit here because it's a bit lighter put some here and we're gonna put some here as well because i've got the mirror here i keep looking onto that side 
and we're going to put some here and my chin area and a bit, a bit down here as well okay guys so that's how I want it to be and I'm gonna blend those in quickly okay so I just make up it's just gonna be a very quick one okay so I'm not gonna spend so much time on it I really want it to be as fast as possible and I am going to take my um, bronzer and then use a the bronzer as well while I wait for this lot to um, penetrate a little bit longer okay I am going to take another brush um, so this is just a little you know flat small and fluffy brush and I am going to use that to actually this is my um, bronzer and this is a glow by revolution glow bronzer and this is a medium color it's a bit dark but you know it's really really concentrated so these are this is has to be very careful when you're using it so I'm just gonna use this to contour my um, jawline to try and blend this um, highlighter on so I just went and wet my um, beauty blender I really wet it with water and um, because you want it to be you know really semi wet so that it helps to blend the makeup in beautifully I'm just going to use it now to blend everything in just going to use my hand mirror when it's semi wet it helps the makeup to blend in easily I'm just using this to pat onto my face to get the makeup you know to get rid of any harsh lines or any brush line and stuff like that so just making sure everything is nice and matte the setting powder that I showed you guys previously which is the honey by Fenton I'm going to use that powder now I'm going to use this uh, real technique brush to to pat that on and to avoid any crease things like that guys if any of you haven't used Fenton uh, setting powder before please you better go and get your hands on one because it's got this aroma it's got this beautiful scent it's got this luxurious scent to it honestly it smells amazing honestly guys you guys need to try it it smells beautiful that's one thing i love about fenty products it's got this beautiful scent it's got that kind of a luxury smell to it it smells expensive you know okay so and now we're going to move on to the eyebrow and an eyeshadow and I'm gonna come back to the blushes to finish everything off while I'm waiting for um, to put my um, eyeshadow and do my eyebrow I'm gonna put the prep and prime by Mac fixed I'm gonna spray a bit on okay and we're gonna leave it and we're gonna come back the reason why I did that is because I really want this makeup to be set you know I want it to glow I want everything to you know penetrate and sit where it needs to be you know so now we're gonna move on to the eyebrow and then eyeshadow and then we're gonna obviously the lashes is the last bit of everything so I'm gonna go back to the palette I'm gonna go back to that and be obsession um, that I showed you guys earlier on that I got from Boots for £10 so I'm going to go back to it and I'm going to pick one of the um, eyeshadows um, that I'm going to use and I think earlier on I was saying something that I was going to go for that dream girl um, eyeshadow which is this one because it's got that neutral um, colours and um, the colours are just really pretty so I'm going to go for the dreamy girl and I'm going to go for any of these colours so what colour do you guys think? 
um let me just think let me want something to match my you know my shirts that i'm wearing so i'm actually gonna go for two colors so i'm gonna go for my happy place so if i bring it closer to you guys my happy place is this one here that's the happy place that one there and then i'm gonna go for uh sweet dreams sweet dreams is the pinky one in the middle which is that one I'll go for happy place and sweet dreams okay because it's a bit of a bit of shimmery the sweet dreams have a bit of shimmery so we can put that in the inner corner you know and then the the darker side the darker one which is happy place at the the inner and you know the outer corner okay so i'm gonna take um the this eyeshadow this one it's got a bit fluffy i'm gonna take this one and i'm gonna a bit uh, work into the the dark one and I'm gonna go to the the side there and just work in it's got a little bit of mirror here so I'll be able to see what I'm doing I really do like makeup obsession here makeup the makeup is really really good good quality um, for like a reasonable prices uh, very affordable as you say the makeup is very very affordable you guys can see if I close my eyes see how pretty that looks so yeah I think I made the right choice actually is blending in so cutely <laughs> so cutely so we move on to this side the left side and more or less the same thing you just fluffy you know one thing i love about this eyeshadow brushes it's so fluffy god it's so so nice you know it just does its work pretty really, guys look look how pretty this color looks on me it does look pretty isn't it it's amazing has anybody been up to anything nice once again we're heading towards the christmas christmas have literally come early this year honestly i remember when we started 2022 i did a video when i was like it's all christmas it's christmas is coming already blah 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 and i was telling people that if you have a youtube if you're thinking of starting a youtube you should do it because a year will go by and to be honest with you a year has gone by so rapidly guys so could you imagine if you did start a youtube channel a year has gone by right now your channel should hopefully be monetized by now now i'm going to take the shimmer one which is that color the one i was saying that sweet dreams i'm going to take that and i'm going to work that in that one goes here in the inner corner can you guys see the difference it's already got a cold for some reason guys people are saying that covid is not gone that i don't know what to believe anymore guys i feel naked when i go outside without a mask i really really do feel naked <laughs> okay so i just put the and uh, the pinky side as you guys can see i like this guys i like this i'm just gonna use this to clean my inner corner i think i got too much makeup there guys what do you guys think of this eyeshadow is it giving i really want to hear the truth i'm gonna close my eyes and you guys can have a glance of it is it giving does it actually look nice on me mm. guys how do i look it looks nice on me isn't it actually that reflects with my top okay so now we're gonna go into the eyebrow because i need to hurry up with this makeup because i've got to do something other things other important things okay so we're gonna do the eyebrow now the eyebrow i'm just gonna keep it nice and simple um eyeliner on a brownish okay so i'm gonna use this for my eyebrow even though it have a bit of a darker sorry a lighter brownish uh, feeling to it but nevertheless i'm gonna use it it's gonna do the work just need to get this brow looking cute i need to put a bit of um, highlighter um, and then a blusher then we can summarize this makeup look um, so I'm going to use um, actually before I do anything I'm going to take my other brush and I'm going to put a bit of the you know the medium um, contour and um, bronzer you know I'm just gonna put a bit of it down my cheek area just here just to give it a bit of definition
can see you kind of like define your face and then you use the same brush just to bring the mimic the fall the airline a little bit okay guys so I'm done with that and I'm happy with what I'm having so far I'm just gonna get rid of this um, lipstick that I have on my lips so that I can put um, what I actually needed to put but before I do that I'm gonna put um, a bit of the highlighter within them within the palette that I showed you guys I'm gonna put all that glows that one there and this highlighter palette and it's got these pretty colors so which is that taking the foam off and it's got this colors okay which color would I even go for um da, 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 da. I think I'm gonna go for the pink moji mojito the pink that one pink mojito that one there I'm gonna go for that so I'll take this brush the one I used previously dab a little bit in there like that and I'm just gonna work it Ooh, guys look look at that that shocks me actually honestly that shocks me actually no that doesn't go with my makeup I should have actually gone with a pink one because that will actually go with the, the you know the eyeshadow so no I'm not gonna go with that but that, look look at that look at that guys you see how quality this makeup is look you see that shimmer you see that shimmer that shimmer is a proper nice one actually um but no I'm not feeling for that I'm not feeling for this gold you see that shimmer you see that shimmer oh that um oh what should i leave it guys should i leave it it's a highlighter but that scared me you know i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave this highlighter it's okay it's just that it scared me i didn't know it was gonna be that intense you know honest i didn't know that it was gonna be that intense put a bit of a bit on my forehead and a bit on my nose here I didn't know honestly I didn't have a clue it was gonna be this intense <laughs> it actually shocked me <gasps> I didn't know it was gonna be this intense but we're gonna work it in we're gonna work it in let's just get it into places first and then we'll see what happened um, yeah but so far I, li I like the shimmer part of it though it looks a bit um, my face look a bit glowy actually Okay, now we're gonna work it in. We're gonna work it in to make it blend, blend more. We're gonna work it in, but it scared me. We know when I put it on, and it was just like boom. It was just amazing. <laughs> oh my god, what am I like? <laughs> but yeah, you see, it makes my face so glowy, very dewy, dewy kind of makeup yeah it does make my face really glowy I don't want to put too much I don't want my face to look too shimmer you know I just want the glow but you see that you see that glow guys you see you see it you see it the glow is just there very obvious it's very 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 obvious mmm you see guys you see you see you see and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna spray my face again so i really want this um i want it to set so we're done with the highlighter if you guys you guys have an idea of what the highlighter looks like now it's very 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 um giving you know it gives and now i'm gonna go with the blusher now we're on the blusher so i'm gonna open the take the um the foam off or the film off it that's it got it all color should i go for guys see that one here i'm gonna go for that one so i'm gonna go for uh -huh. so now i'm gonna take the brush that comes in the makeup palette i'm gonna take this one and i'm gonna use it i think this is specifically for brusher you know so i'm gonna tamp it tamp it a little bit in there you know and then not too much and i'm just gonna work it in I'm just gonna work it in you know just a bit on top of the highlighter just to give it you know give it a bit of shimmer 
as per se you know just see guys see how that just gives me a bit of a, a different feel it's basically just gonna mellow down the you know the highlighter so that everything just equally works in you know oh but my face is looking so pretty i really love this makeup i really really do i really do love this makeup it's just so different i love this of this i'm really ready to party <laughs> yeah guys this is giving this is definitely giving have you seen how my face is looking so glowy and pretty and looking like <laughs> all right so now we're gonna finish this makeup off basically and um we're gonna put a lashes we're gonna put these lashes which is called glamnetic so I got these from Glamnetic. They sent me this lashes to try it on. So I'm gonna give it a go while I'm doing my makeup and put it on, okay? So this is uh, Boss Bait. That's the name of it. It says Boss Bait, uh, magnetic lashes. So anyway, this is the actual magnetic um, eyeliner. So this corresponds with the lashes. So you need these two for it to work, okay? So you need this and you need that for them to actually work, okay? So I'm going to use this eyeliner as well as um, a magnetic um, liner to fix the lashes, okay? So I'm going to apply like two or three strokes and then um, I'll apply the lashes on. Okay, I hope they haven't dried, but I'm going to shake it because I haven't used it for a while. So I'm going to shake it and hopefully it should be okay. Okay, so, oh, they haven't dried. That's good. Because I had this sent to me by Glamnetic a long while, a long time ago. Like, I should say about a couple of months ago, I had this sent to me. And um, it hadn't dried. That's good. Because one of the worries was this thing would dry off so quickly. And uh, it would be difficult to use, you know. But it didn't dry off, so that's good. That means it's quality. I apologize. I put these lashes on. I thought my camera was recording, not knowing it wasn't recording. But like I was just saying initially, that it's pretty much easy to put a magnetic mag. <laughs> it's pretty easy to put a magnetic lashes on. Um, you know, you know, guys, I haven't record, like, actually sat down to do a chit chat makeup for ages, so it's so randomly like, um, sometimes I even forget to switch the camera on or thinking that camera's recording, not knowing it's not recording. Usually, when it's recording, there's a, like a little red light that shows on the screen. I thought I was doing it, but I wasn't doing it, and I'm here talking plenty, not knowing the camera wasn't recording. Boy. When you don't record for a certain time, because I've been using my iPhone um, Pro to do most of the recording that I do. So this is another bestie that I've literally just did develop a technique to record. And most of all my blogs and things like that I've done, I use my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, you know, the camera is amazing, guys, amazing. I'm not promoting for iPhone, but I'm just telling you guys that the camera is amazing on the 12 Pro Max. Okay, so that's what I use for my, mostly my vlogs. So I haven't actually sat down to use my Canon camera for in ages. So it's, I even forgot how to work it now. But nevertheless, let's get on with this makeup up and finish it off okay so i put the lashes on and i'm i'm actually happy with how the look is going so far so i'm just gonna summarize and then we're gonna finish the look and then i'll do my lips and then we'll be we call it a night you know thank you so much so far if you like what you see so far guys don't forget to subscribe and um, share this among your friends comments and um yeah so far so good i'm grateful Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And I'll be back. I'm just gonna basically do my lips and stuff like that off the scene, and I'll be back to show you guys the final look. Thank you, guys. So I am back, and I have gone over to finish my makeup. And basically, this is it. Okay, so this um, be obsessed uh, makeup palette from Boots, ten pound. 
gave me this beautiful glow okay check the eyeshadow and i love this palette literally i love it it's got all the eyeshadows it's got different colors um and you got these beautiful um brushes that i think they're quality for 10 pound you cannot go wrong with this a makeup palette this would be a fantastic christmas gift to give to a young person um or even adults yourself you can gift yourself this you can give this to your mom your sister your cousin you know or even your neighbor you can give them this this is a beautiful palette for 10 pound i think it's a fantastic gift to give someone and i know i'm not sure whether you can get this from boots still however i'll leave the link in my description box below so you can um check it out from time to time because as like i said get um Boots have this Tuesday um, promotional um, ten pound um, products. Any products they I think they promote it for ten pound. So perhaps Christmas is coming, they may promote this again for ten pound. Who knows? But these products are worth more than ten pound. Trust me, they're high quality. Look at how this beautiful makeup look. Look how glowy, dewy my face look. Look all this is from this beautiful palette guys so i'm so grateful that you guys had the opportunity to go through this demonstration use this and using this and uh, be obsessed and uh, by makeup obsession i think that's the actual uh, company name yeah makeup obsession say it say be obsessed so yeah so i'm um, had a i had a great time demonstrating it to you guys and um if you like what you see so far please um subscribe give a thumb up okay share among your friends comments and um yeah so grateful and i thank you guys so far and i will catch up with you guys next week on my next video i promise this time i'm going to be regularly regularly uploading videos because i know i've been a bit of naughty girl but yeah i promise you guys nice contents coming okay thank you so much guys for watching and i love you guys i love my little family thank you so much okay you guys stay safe and i'll see you guys on the next one bye